Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu operating system on your Mac operating system using VirtualBox. So you need two things in order to install uh, Ubuntu on your Mac operating system using VirtualBox. The first thing is obvious, which is VirtualBox. So if you haven't installed VirtualBox on your Mac operating system, just install it. And if you don't know how to install it, I will put the link of the video in the description so you can see how you can install VirtualBox on your Mac operating system. So once you have this VirtualBox installed, the second thing you need is the Ubuntu ISO file. So you can uh, just download the Ubuntu ISO file from its official website. So just search for Ubuntu on your favorite browser and the first link which will appear here will be from ubuntu.com. So I'm going to just click on this link and here straight away you will uh, see uh, this uh, web page so you just need to click on the downloads uh, uh, button here and then you just need to click on the ubuntu desktop option so this is the latest version at the time of making this video which is uh, 20.04 lts version there is uh, one more version which is the latest version but i want to install the lts version so i will just click on 20.04 lts here which is going to start the download of this ISO file, which is Ubuntu 20.04 ISO file. Now this file is around 2.6 GB. So I have already downloaded this file. So I will just cancel this uh, download. And once you have downloaded this uh, file, it's going to look like this. So I have just uh, copied this ISO file on my desktop. So once you have downloaded this uh, file, what you can do is you just need to click on the new uh, icon on your VirtualBox window. And here you can just write Ubuntu here. Also, you can also write the version Ubuntu uh, 04. And then this will be the location of your virtual machine. I will leave it as default. The type is Linux and the version is Ubuntu 64 bit. If you don't see this uh, Ubuntu 64 bit, you can uh, just select this option using this list here. Then click on continue. Here you need to choose the memory size. So just choose some appropriate memory size and then click on continue. And then here leave everything as default, uh, which is create virtual hard disk now and then click on create. And then uh, choose the first option here, which is VDI, which is virtual box disk image and then click on continue. On the next window, choose dynamically allocated option and then click on continue. And here you can provide the file location and size. So just leave it as default. And the size I want here is let's say 25 GB for my Ubuntu operating system. You can also increase it and then click on create. And once you do that, your virtual machine is created, but still we haven't provided the path of our uh, uh, Ubuntu ISO file. So what you need to do, select your uh, virtual machine and then click on settings here. And once the setting window opens in general settings, you will be able to see the name, type and version. You need to go to the advanced setting under general and then just choose bi-directional and bi-directional for drag and drop and shared clipboard. It will allow you to copy and paste file from your uh, Mac operating system into your Ubuntu operating system and vice versa. Once you do that, then click on system and uh, here select processors. By default, uh, the uh, virtual box will allocate one uh, processor or CPU for your virtual machine. You can uh, increase it until uh, this green mark here. And then I'm going to uh, go to the display. I don't want to change anything here. And here I will choose the storage. So here you will provide the path to your ISO file. So just click on this empty disk option and then click on this disk icon here. And then you just need to click on this option which says choose a disk file and then navigate to your Ubuntu ISO file. So this is the file which I have downloaded from the Ubuntu website. So select this and then click on open. And once it's done, click on OK, which is going to just uh, save your settings. Now, once you are done, you can just select your Ubuntu uh, virtual machine and then click on Start, which is going to start the installation of 
Ubuntu operating system on your VirtualBox. Here in this list, you just need to choose once again your Ubuntu ISO file if you don't see this uh, ISO file automatically. So you can see I have multiple uh, files here. So I have chosen Ubuntu 20.04 desktop.iso file. Then click on start, which is going to start the installation of Ubuntu on my uh, virtual box. So you can see the installation has been started. So I will wait for some time. So because my desktop resolution for my Mac operating system is really large, so this uh, installation window is looking uh, really small. So after the installation, we can resize this window also. Here it says VirtualBox would like to access your microphone. I will click on don't allow for now. And now you can see the installation of uh, Ubuntu has been started. So here you need to choose your language in which you want to install Ubuntu and then click on this button which says install Ubuntu. On the next page, you need to select your keyboard layout. I'm using German keyboard layout, so I will uh, choose the German uh, keyboard uh, layout from here. So just select the keyboard layout uh, of your Mac operating system which you are using and then click on continue. On the next window, it says updates and other software. So here you can just choose what apps would you like to install to start with. I will just choose the normal installation and then you can also choose install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi and then click on continue. And now on this next window, you will see the installation type. So just leave it as default, which is erase disk and install Ubuntu. Don't worry, it's not going to erase anything. It's just an installation step in the installation of Ubuntu operating system. So just leave it as default and then click on install now and then click on continue here. On the next window, you can choose the location uh, where you are located. So once you have chosen your location, just click on continue. And here you need to provide the name of your uh, operating system and your computer name. I will name it as CB for now and I will also name my computer name as CB. And then I will provide the password and then I will uh, repeat the password and then click on continue. So now at this point, it's going to uh, start the installation of Ubuntu operating system on your virtual box. So you just need to wait for some time until this installation is finished. So just wait for uh, some time. So now I can see the installation is finished and Ubuntu is asking me to just restart uh, the Ubuntu operating system by pressing this button. So I'm going to just click on this uh, restart now button, which is going to restart the Ubuntu uh, guest operating system on my Mac operating system. Here it says, please remove the installation medium and press enter. So I'm going to just press enter here. And now I can see uh, the username here. So I'm going to just click on the username and then provide my Ubuntu's password, which I have uh, provided at the time of installation. So I'm going to just provide that and then press enter, which is going to start my Ubuntu operating system. So now you can see uh, my Ubuntu operating system has been started. But there is one problem which I will discuss right now and also the solution I'm going to give you, which is when you resize your uh, uh, guest uh, window, uh, the Ubuntu doesn't resize according to the size of your window. So this problem you can solve by just installing VirtualBox guest editions on your uh, Ubuntu operating system, which is uh, the guest uh, operating system, right? So for solving this problem, first of all, you need to open your uh, terminal. So just click on these dots here and then search for uh, terminal. And once your terminal opens, you need to uh, provide this command. And I'm going to put this command in the description of this video, which is sudo apt install bid essential space dkms space linux uh, hyphen headers hyphen this uname. Uh, hyphen R. Okay, so you can just uh, copy the same command and here you can use this command and then press enter and then provide your Ubuntu's password, which you have set at the time of installation and then press Y. And once uh, this command is finished, uh, the last step what you need to do is you just need to click on the devices here and then click on insert additional CD image 
which is going to insert the VirtualBox guest editions image in your Ubuntu operating system. So, here you need to click on uh, this run button and then provide your Ubuntu's password and then click on authenticate which is going to install the VirtualBox guest editions and once uh, this is finished at the end it says press return to close the window. So, I am going to just press enter which is going to close this window. So, at this point what I need to do I just need to restart my Ubuntu operating system. So, I will just click on this arrow and then click on power off and then click on power off and then click on power off which is going to uh, stop my virtual machine and then I am going to simply select my virtual, virtual machine once again and restart my virtual machine and now uh, I am going to provide my Ubuntu's password once again in order to log in and once you are logged in to your Ubuntu operating system you will observe when you resize your Ubuntu operating system window this desktop also resizes. So, you can see the resolution of your Ubuntu operating system is much better now. So, this is how you can install Ubuntu operating system on your Mac operating system using VirtualBox. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.